Hey guys, today we're watching the brand new Mega Mine TV show. And if you guys want us to watch the rest of the show for some reason, get this video to 12,000 likes. And if you want to get access to lots of bonus content, check out our Patreon where you can also vote to make us watch the shows that you want to see. Wait, apparently the movie serves as the pilot to the TV series. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We watched the shitty Megamind PS2 show out of order. What are we going to do with our lives? They definitely made this 10 years ago and are just now releasing it, right? A superhero you stream online! Oh my god, they didn't make it 10 years ago because that couldn't be made 10 years ago. Oh my god, what did they do to her? They got rid of her details. She looks so nothing. This looks like Miraculous Ladybug. This looks like Miraculous Ladybug. You've met your match, evil doer, for I, Megamind, am the hero of Matrocity! That does not sound anything like Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell never played Megamind. That was the Mandela effect. Holy sh! It was actually Nelson Mandela voiced them all along. Now that I'm a hero, I want to inspire the people the way Metro Man did. This feels like something I would watch on fucking TV when I was five. This feels like the Penguins of Madagascar right now. Penguins of Madagascar fans are fucking crying right now. Well, I, I wasn't saying it as a diss. Well, I was saying it as a diss. <laughs> <laughs> Your happy hometown Dude Monkey here. Shall we stop another crime? He's a vlogger. Dude Monkey. It's like Logan Paul if he was gay. This is a miraculous ladybug villain. Sup? Remember to like and subscribe! Yo, he he's actually might be spitting though. He might have been spitting there. Yeah, follow what dude bro just said. Dude monkey, follow what he just said. And already you're influencing strangely charismatic youngsters to defend the city. I fucking hate Megamind's face in this so much. Why is- No way his face looked like that in the original. It looks like face app. I don't know why. As mayor, I don't have actual control over the sun. Yes, well- Wait, she's the mayor now? I thought she was a reporter! She was a reporter! This was probably explained in the movie. Fuck, no, it wasn't! <laughs> Why do we have to watch this in the wrong order? They're having a grand reopening of the aquarium and want me to make an appearance. It's just like the way his face moves, it feels like I'm I'm stuck in like the twilight zone or something. I can't stop looking at his face and I'm getting increasingly uncomfortable. He looks older and younger at the same time. He looks like he's on like a Funko Pop enhancement drug or something. He's the one who destroyed the aquarium in the first place. If you want to save a fish, you gotta break a few aquariums. That's not true at all, actually. That was funny. That was a joke. You want to save a fish, you've got to break a few aquariums. Cor, they explained in the movie that we didn't watch that there's no more fish in the ocean. So if you want a fish, you have to get it from an aquarium. Every bad joke was just explained in the movie. So it makes sense. Send word to the aquarium board that I'm recommending Megamind. Nina, Nina, Nina. Oh, God. What did they do to Megamind, man? Man. It's so baby coded, bro. Like this is for like average age two to five. I think if you put this on in front of a six year old, they would be offended. Your problem is dude monkey. Good luck inspiring people when this guy's trolling you. What's with this troll business? <laughs> What's with this troll business? Wait, do you think Megamind is gonna stumble onto his own memes that people made of him? Have you ever heard of the internet? Yes, I've heard of the internet. What? <laughs> It's a passing fad, like fidget spinners or paying your taxes. Fidget spinners reference. I haven't heard the word fidget spinner since I was in high school, and that was like 40 years ago. If Megamind uses a fidget spinner in this episode, I will officially give it my highest rating on this channel. The internet connects to every computer on the planet. You're the grand champion of learning about the internet way too late. No! Now listen. Look at it. Oh, yep. New Fortnite emote. We got that shit. Wait, is Megan Mind in Fortnite? Well, not yet. They'll probably do a collab. It's just like it feels like he is. <sighs> okay, Chum, you gotta stop watching old internet stuff while we're filming. And Megan Mind, be more natural, dude. We should be taking notes, realistically speaking, though, because this is all about like how to go viral, how to be a success on the internet, on the internet. Sorry. All right, the internet. So more like. Hello, my biggest fans. Megamind here. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll write that down. Megamind here. Okay. Heroic opportunities don't just walk out into the street and... Oh my god, he's crossing the street on his phone. He has his AirPods and he can't hear the truck coming. I can't even say this looks like Miraculous Ladybug because it looks worse than Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> it does. This is 2024. How are we making 2008 CGI? Say, Megamind's Chugi. 
Yeah, I'll just edit that stuff out. Dude, this is the editor editing this video, bro. Oh my god. Yo, editor, edit all the bad parts of the show out. <laughs> the zero minute video. Come on, come on. A new meme! Uh -huh. How many views? A, a new, new meme. meme. Burn down the whole building, bro. I can't watch this anymore. Burn down the whole building. Is the memer from the Wendy's commercial gonna show up? This is good. Hey, quick shout out to my primo sponsor, Mr. Minions Meat Sickles. It kind of just looks like a shit. Is that Gru's like shit? Gru is selling his shit. That's his new villain plot. Hey, radical dudaroos. Mega mind here. Crimes are popping. Oh my god, he's what are you doing, fellow kidsing, right now? Oh god, help. Okay, but think about it. He had to get that hat custom made. If that hat fits him. His head loosely. Crime stopping rock! I just feel like it's genuinely such a missed opportunity. Because Megamind has so many memes. In 10 years, we're going to look back on this era of TV and realize how much of it was already being written by AI. I should come off as inspirational, not as some bumbling buffoon. Well, it's kind of beautiful because it's like no one's fucking with Megamind or finding him funny in the show. And we also aren't doing that. Grand reopening of the aquarium! I beat Megamind for the gig! Now I'm gonna dance all over this picture of Megamind. <laughs> Wait a second, yo, this guy's base. It's a really slim market for superheroes right now. He's still dancing after two hours. Incredible. I need a 30 minute nap after eating three chicken wings. She said Megamind would need a nap after eating three chicken wings. <laughs> what? Yo, he's so me, he's so me for real. Three chicken wings, I'll... You can't unspoil my sour mood with mayoral dad jokes, Roxy. It looks like a VTuber model. Like, they're facing too straight. There's so many jokes in this that, like, they feel randomly generated. I feel so bad. So bad for the people that wrote this show if it wasn't AI generated. But your writing makes me think it was AI generated. I'm so sorry. He's going to sneak himself in inside a meatsicle cart. <laughs> Someone in chat says this is a dentist appointment show. Actually, the only time you'll see this show. The reopening ceremony will be a drowning success. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced. The mwahaha did it for me. <laughs> relax, bro. I thought that line was actually a little funny, bro. Relax, relax. Because it's like you think like, oh, like clearly he's evil. But then he's like, wait a second. He said mwahaha. So it's self-aware as to what it's doing. It makes the joke even more unfunny that he explained it then you explained it so it's <laughs> if you see a mythical cart clear it out lungs like humans do they have gills why did they let food carts into the aquarium uh for people to eat bro well when you're you're in an aquarium you see all the fish and you get hungry right so you want to dive in for the fish but you're not allowed to do that so they have food carts to curb your cravings hey guys Welcome to Megamind's Rules for Defending Your City! This is one of the hardest frames I've ever seen in animation. <laughs> that was <laughs> legitimately cool. It's on the same level the Avengers coming down for the first time. Like, that, that shit is genuinely hard. You just got ousted as a fraud. Oh my god, he's the gay little monkey from the Apple store. Wait, the poopy monkey baby? What is it? Chat, y'all know what I'm talking about, gay little monkey. I was expecting to be like an actual monkey, not like a person in a costume. <laughs> I made my own meme. Pretty chill, oh boy. <laughs> I Raffle! They put Raffle on the screen. I'm gonna fucking burst into cringe. I love this show so much. Why didn't they put the no bitches? The starfish. Able to regenerate its body if it loses a limb. The animations remind me of the 2012 TMNT show. That's it's not that bad. It's not even remotely close to being that bad. I think TMNT looks better than this. No, it doesn't. You're tripping. Ta-da! Oh, sweet shimmering Shangri-La. Mr. Donut. Can they actually do that though? It's like a real brand. Like, is that allowed? Well, no, because Mr. Donut spelled M-I-S-T-E-R. So it's a different brand. Ooh, I want that one. No, I want that one. Fanboy and Chum Chum looks better than this show. Fanboy and Chum Chum looks better than this shit. Better theme song too. Who's this beautiful creature? That is our new Mega Donut. My tribute to the city's greatest hero. Mega donut. Oh my goodness, because it's red on the inside, just like Mega Mind, bleeding heart. He sides with the Republicans, bro. Follow me. Uh, 
I almost forgot. No eating in the kitchen. L look at the background. There's no people in the city core. They got the same Mr. Beast background model in like every single scene. They have three background characters for the entire city. Those guys get around. Don't you want to take a bite? Of course. I want nothing more. Did you say something? I just think it's hilarious that this guy is still in the donut. Like, <laughs> bro is not allowed to clock out. He's going to be the villain of this episode. And here's the secret to the whole operation. My famous sticky glaze. Oh, my famous sticky glaze. I would jump in that. Surely someone gets pushed into this vat at some point, right? That has to happen. <laughs> Me Thing. No, he's gonna fall into the vat. Oh my god. He's gonna back up. He's gonna back up. <laughs> How did that happen so quickly? I want him to fall into the vat, drown, he dies, and they just leave him there. No donut baker dies on my watch. What the hell was that action scene? I guess you could call it maybe. What the fuck? Oh, did he die? I think I slipped on jelly. But how could that have happened? He looks like that balloony from Phineas and Ferb. They put the stethoscope onto the donut costume. I'll pay you back for this. Yo, what the fuck? Well, no, he's talking about the ambulance because it cost him $1,000 to pay for the ambulance. That's actually fucking insane. Megamind just had his life threatened by this donut man. The origin of a supervillain out in the wild. Roll it. I'll pay you back for this. Was he filming his whole life? He's just doing a daily vlog now? Dude, content is content, bro. Megamind's on that grind, and it's just something you wouldn't really understand, Jack. He's doing fucking IRL streaming. He just meant that he wants to expand his business. His business is badness. And is it being a capitalist the evilest thing of all? That's what he should have said. <laughs> even his evil laugh. That's your evil laugh. I don't know what you're talking about. Mega Mind is like evil now. He's actively trying to create villains to fight. This is, defeats the entire character arc of the movie. But if you watch the second movie, you would know he regresses completely in character. <laughs> He's right, Roxy. A hero accidentally creating a nemesis by causing them to fall into something is a well-known villain trope going back to the 50s. I forgot this child is in the show. What if they put her in the vat and like cooked her up into a donut? Child donut would be delicious. Sounds like a villain to me. Also sounds like every boss at every job ever. Gotta side with them, Roxy. This is like thought crime. I'm gonna kill this guy before he becomes a villain. Well, she's like every person, like every corporation, like anyone who owns a business is evil. Like she, she's like so far on the fucking <laughs> like left TikTok. Well, we saw her on the fucking computer. She's just an average Twitter user. What if I'm right about Mr. Donut being bad and you're wrong about him being good? Let's say loser buys the winner donuts. My glucose is rising already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if someone ever said that to me in real life, I'd slit their throat. I mean, seriously, how many heroes do you know who've actually stopped a villain before they became one? Sir! Chum's kind of like Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist. That makes Megamind like Edward Elric, which makes him Elon Musk. Like, I feel like there's a parallel here that could be made. Thank might have missed something. Breaking news. We're live as a donut shaped villain is robbing Metro City Bank. Her detective work is put on CNN. Like, her detective work is watch the news. Great job, detective. You did great. Oh, Megamind, am I glad to see you? The glove you gave me keeps firing. Megamind's just ruining this poor man's life. He's just trying to sell donuts. This guy hasn't been able to take off his suit like in days, bro. He probably smells terrible. They're gonna try and take the suit off and it's gonna be like adhered to his skin and like rip his skin off. Mr. Donut made a specialty donut just for Megamind and then Megamind proceeds to destroy his entire life. Well, what do we have here? Someone trying to steal our appropriately nautical themed villain hideout. Ew, ew, Timothy Chalamet, get the fuck away from me. The fish guys? Oh my God, he's so short. A doctor who's also a donut that shoots lasers? Just terrific. Terrific. I shoot lasers? Everyone in this show is fucking so lame. Like, every single character in this show is a loser. That's kind of Megamind, though, because Jonah Hill was, like, the biggest loser ever. That was absolutely my bad. show makes me want to vomit. I don't know. There's something about it that just, like, is giving, like, throw up. I don't know why. It's giving Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. But Johnny Johnny Yes Papa takes my stress away. This one, like, gives me stress. You know what I mean? Hey, Dr. Glazer Donut, let's hear your maniacal laugh. Ha 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 ha
I'm kind of fucking with this Mr. Donut, Dr. Glazer Donut guy. They're glazing it, but like, I honestly, I fuck with them, bro. Like, he, he should be a villain and he should kill Megamind. Oh, the more I try to help the man, the more likely it seems he's going to become my greatest enemy. Dr. Glazer Donut is gonna become your greatest enemy, Megamind. That's embarrassing. I don't think there's even a sprinkle of evil in Mr. Donut's heart. One sprinkle of evil, courtesy of this blue buffoon. That's racist. Why, just cause he's blue? If you're gonna segregate him for his race, you're supposed to segregate everyone for their race, okay? Mr. Donut, have you joined the Go Fish Gang? Of course not, but they've taken me hostage. He's gonna glaze Megamind's insides. Mr. Donut. This show sucks. <laughs> Sorry. His main donuts that he sells are red, purple, and plain. It's just red 40 all over. There's no flavoring. Hope you got full coverage. Mr. Donut, how could you? What would the donuts think? <laughs> what would the donuts think? That's why it made me laugh. What are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. This is my husband's store. Wait, Mr. Donut has a wife and kids? What? Why does he have a ginger kid? He's not even ginger. He adopted. Have we seen his hair? I've only seen him with the costume on. You mean my Melvin? You might be the only one who can get through to him. The women in this show got some crazy proportions. They're animating them like what people say Pixar moms look like. Yes, it's actually fucking insane. My entire life came down to one single decision. What kind of person did I really want to be? I wanted to be a troll on the internet. Wow, what a great decision, Megamind, to be a daily vlogger. You make donuts, and you're good at it. You're a terrific husband. Those kids are gross looking. I do wish his wife was more supportive, because he probably spent a lot of savings on those two sharks in the pool and everything. Like, clearly he's been putting a lot of work into this. I just would have liked to see her be more supportive of his ambitions. That's me. Dr. Glazer Donut. It's Mr. Donut. Dude, every character switch happens like so quickly in this show. Like there's a there's a question or any confrontation or anything, and it's like resolved instantaneously. Yo, whoa, looks like I landed a big one. Wait, so their weapons are fucking fishing rods? These are the lamest villains of all time. They're just the most annoying people in Minecraft PvP. People who use fishing rods in Minecraft PvP made me stop playing Minecraft PvP, bro. Like, once it got that tryhard, I'm like, all right, I'm out of here, bye. They're almost as bad as the TNT strap people in Bed Wars, bro. The fishing rod people are, are next level evil. Job well done to Metro City's newest and unlikeliest hero. This is good press for uh, Mr. Donut, actually. Like, no variety, just nothing but eating Megamind's face. I want to eat a Megamind. I figured out a way to spend more time with the family. Aw, child labor starting them young, bro. A way to spend time with the family. We're not sending these kids to school. They're going to be making donuts till the day they die. Now, I'm regretting the decision to eat 20 donuts. Come on, big guy. What's one more? <laughs> Megamind has not taken his meds. And if you guys want us to watch more of that awful show, get this video 12,000 likes. Don't make us watch more of that shit. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gub, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles, by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.